Don't Be That Guy, the segment where Sabrina Rodriguez delivers the smackdown to people who misbehave. <laughs> Today we're talking about the people who misbehave at weddings. Yes, and one behavior in particular. Now, you may we probably have seen this at plenty of weddings. Paul, I don't know if this probably didn't happen at your wedding. I don't pay any attention. There you go. <laughs> but we're talking about a small piece of technology that just kind of ruins it for everybody. You were each invited to join us today. So. A wedding is one of the biggest experiences of a couple's life. You've picked the perfect dress, the cake, the venue, hired a photographer or videographer to capture the day, and probably shelled out a small fortune for everything. But today's guy can ruin the memento, the wedding video wrecker, and all with a small piece of technology. Thanks to cell phones, just about everyone and their mother thinks they're a professional photographer. You're not. Unless you've been given permission to get up and take pictures, stay in your seat and watch. Not like this woman who's circling the couple like a hungry shark trying to get a good angle. Not only is that distracting, check out what it does to the video. The person who shot this is also Fox 40 photographer Alex Christescu and has run into the wedding video wrecker plenty of times. We've got a lot of folks using their cell phones, their point and shoots and they want to get close to the action, they want to get in there, and it's just difficult to plan for that when you don't know where and when they're going to pop up. It makes it hard because you don't want to be moving around and causing a ruckus during the ceremony, so when you've got to move because somebody's in front of you, it just makes it tough altogether. The record takes some interesting forms. This guy mounted his camera on a tripod and used it as a jib. Then there's the small child trying to get the 360 view of the dance. Not only does this make the videographer's job difficult, it also affects the finished product for the couple. It makes it tough because you don't anticipate to have that in your shots, so you really have to look for a workaround so you might not have that b-roll that you can cover up you might have to get creative because the back of somebody's head is not something you really want to look at for 10 or 15 or even even five seconds now taking pictures from your seat is okay but if you're doing this you're not really watching the ceremony so put the camera down just be there for the couple and don't be that guy wow <laughs> that was fantastic that was a good one i, I thought that was you know intentionally shot but no that no. was that's while, actually a wedding while, Alex was shooting. Well, just almost, he says at almost every wedding that he shoots now, there's always someone that just gets in one of his shots with their cell phones you know, or with their cameras. I was up at a wedding in Forest Hill recently, mm -hmm. and at the beginning of the ceremony, they said, okay, we know you all have your smartphones. Do not take a picture yeah. during our ceremony. Oh, really? We have the photographer here, and we will send you pictures. Yeah. We don't want any of you snapping pictures during our wedding. That's interesting. And so interesting, we had to behave. <laughs> interestingly enough, this weekend, Mark Dembski, our sports guy, got married. Oh. He had an unplugged wedding. Everyone had to relinquish their cell phones at really? the beginning of the ceremony. <laughs> That's yep. Really? Yes. Oh, I do like that. And, well, and as somebody who has paid for two weddings, mm -hmm. don't mess them up. Don't mess up the pictures. <laughs> expensive. Don't be that guy. <laughs> I like that one. Yes. That was good. <laughs> All right. So if you have a don't be that guy suggestion, please send them to us. It can be about any social pet peeve, that etiquette, and we will get right on it. Paul, All right.